The days of spending thousands and thousands of dollars on creative agencies to build UIs and landing pages are over. AI can officially build insanely good UI and landing pages right now, and Sonnet can actually code them for you almost instantly in Cursor. I'm gonna show you the exact workflow that I use to create UI and landing pages and have them coded in record time. This entire process uses AI, and it is insanely cheap and insanely easy to do, so let's jump right into the video. Okay, so this process essentially uses two components, ChatGPT and Cursor with Sonnet 3.7. So essentially, all you have to do is come to GPT. So if you don't know, obviously GPT had a huge update with design. I made a video on this. Their new image generation is insanely, insanely good at doing a bunch of different tasks. Uh, and one of the things it's good at is UI and web design. So you have to select O4 Mini and you have to be in the Create Image tab here. This is very important. If you don't do this, you're gonna get very low quality outputs. So make sure you're using O4 Mini, make sure you have Create Image selected. Um, and you can see here in this example, I said I need an incredible and full UI design for a new SaaS startup that is for invoicing. It will create professional invoices for clients, send those to be paid, and also be available to download via PDF. It should be an ultra modern design with the following features. And so it goes ahead and does this for me. You can see it's pretty good. Now this could be better. So if I want Wanted to, I could actually come in here and ask it to edit this. I could have it um, add different features to this design. Uh, but once you're happy with it, once you like the design, what you're going to want to do is download this. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now I'm going to come over to Cursor, and uh, we're you know we just basically we're in an empty folder here in Cursor, and you know just starting from scratch here. You can see I'm using 3.7 Sonnet. Um, so I have a bunch of videos on Cursor. Check those out if you haven't uh, seen those before on how to use Cursor. And essentially, I'm just going to go to this image upload area right here. I'm going to go to my downloads. And I'm gonna go ahead and download this image of the UI. And all I'm gonna say is code this UI for me. I'm not gonna have it do um, like a whole framework. I could obviously have it do the entire framework for me, put this into like Next.js and you know, React and all that. I'm not gonna do all that right now. I'm just gonna basically say, just give me HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So very simple. I'm just basically uploading an image saying, code this UI, give me HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and boom. Now it's gonna go ahead and basically just take that image and create this entire folder structure and generate this dashboard. So we're gonna let that work and be right back. All right, so Cursor has done its thing. It is done, let's check it out. And boom, we now have a full design for an invoice app. Pretty awesome, right? So we got our design directly from GPT and boom, it's coded directly uh, here using Cursor. So again, you could edit this, you could do a bunch of different things you need to do, but now you have a super simple process for UI design and coding uh, pretty much instantly using GPT, Cursor, and Sonnet 3.7. Now let's go through another example here. Uh, this is gonna be for an iOS app. So I asked it for a UI design for a sports betting app in iOS, and you can see that it's given us this here. So we're gonna go ahead and download this. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put this into Cursor, and we're gonna ask for, basically, I'm just gonna create a new folder here. We're just gonna ask it to code this as well. So we're gonna say sports app. Let's open this here, open folder. All right, and same thing. We're just gonna upload that image. And I'm gonna say, please code this UI for me. It's for an iOS app. Please just give me HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Now, for an iOS app, obviously, you could use a lot of different things to build an iOS app, just depending on what framework you want to use, right? You could use like React Native, you could use Flutter, you could use a bunch of different things. And actually, Cursor uh, is, or Claude 3.7 Sonnet is pretty good at that. Gemini Pro Max, 2.5 Pro Max is actually very, very good at it too. So I would recommend probably using 2.5 Pro Max or 3.7 Sonnet if you're gonna build iOS apps. Uh, if you wanna see a video on that, drop a comment, let me know you wanna see a video on that and I'll actually build a full iOS app using Cursor. Uh, I can do a full video on that as well. If you wanna see that, definitely drop a comment. So um, it's gonna go ahead and build this out and once it's done, I will show you what this looks like. All right, Cursor has done its thing. Let's go ahead and check this out. I'm just gonna accept that, come back to our sports app. We'll open this up and boom. So you can see this is now a mobile design for a sports betting app. So yeah, it looks great. Really, really cool. So um, yeah, you can see how versatile this 
this framework is for for actually you know designing and developing UIs, right? So using ChatGPT to create the UI, using Cursor and Sonnet to actually uh, develop it. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think these UIs are good? Do you think they suck? Do you think they, they could be improved? Uh, do you wanna see me do a more expanded video? I would love to hear your thoughts.